another day in the life of Dr. Atkinson. So where is he? Uh, hiding under the bridge. Salt dissolves well in water because the water forms hydrogen bonds with the ions and pulls the crystal apart. But today we're looking at covalent compounds such as oil, which is nonpolar. And perhaps other substances, such as ooh, alien blood. Does that dissolve in water? What about sugar? Nice cup of sweet tea. Don't spill it. Cheers. Oh dear. So the solubility of covalent compounds, the rule you need to learn is like dissolves like. What the hell does that mean? Well, polar substances dissolve in polar liquids. And there's a polar substances that are also polar liquids. Like dissolves like. It also means that nonpolar substances dissolve in nonpolar liquids. Alkanes are nonpolar, as is carbon tetrachloride. Now, why is this? The reason's complicated, but in IB, you just need to know that the formation of dipole-dipole interactions or hydrogen bonds allows polar substances to dissolve in polar liquids. And the formation of London dispersion forces allows nonpolar substances to dissolve in nonpolar liquids. So which of these chemicals dissolve in water, which is polar, or hexane, which is nonpolar? Well, you need to find which of the chemicals are polar themselves or nonpolar. Looking at electronegativity difference, you can see that ID monofluoride is polar. One end of the molecule is more negative than the other. Same for carbon monoxide. Oxygen has a much greater electronegativity, so the molecule is polar. Like dissolves like. The hydroxyl group on methanol gives it polarity. And so again, that dissolves in water. Methane is a nonpolar molecule. The bond dipoles cancel giving a nonpolar molecule, so that will dissolve in hexane. But if we have fluoromethane, well now the molecule's polar. The electrons are dragged upwards towards the fluorine. So fluoromethane is polar. And finally, ammonia. That's a trigonal pyramidal shape. And it also has a dipole there. So that means ammonia will also dissolve in water. A bonus one, what about carbon dioxide? The IB like this one. Because the bonds are polar, but the molecule itself is nonpolar. Because the bond dipoles cancel. There are other videos on this. So carbon dioxide is nonpolar. So it dissolves in hexane, which is also nonpolar. Now hold on. There's carbon dioxide dissolved in water. Sharks breathe it out. Decaying plants produce it. And there's definitely carbon dioxide trapped in Coca-Cola. So when we say carbon dioxide doesn't dissolve in water, well, it does a little bit, but not too much. We say it is sparingly soluble. Dissolves just a little. Same for oxygen. So how are you going to get your seven? Here are some tricks. Some covalent compounds will dissociate or ionize in water. That's different to dissolving. They'll actually break up into ions. Hydrogen chloride does that. And what about ammonia in water? Well, actually, it's in equilibrium with the ammonium ion and the hydroxide ion. Some covalent compounds have polar and nonpolar parts. The classic example is 1-heptanol. The hydroxyl part is polar, dissolves in water. But the long alkyl chain is nonpolar. So actually, looking at it, the nonpolar is going to dominate. So this is probably not very soluble in water, since the nonpolar part is much bigger.
than the polar part. Some solvents have intermediate polarity. They're between polar and nonpolar. For example, methoxymethane and good old ethanol, the intermediate polarity. And let's think about Dr. Atkinson's dirty lab coat. Well, what can water remove? Well, that will remove the polar stains, such as sugar from his cup of tea, and you could argue salt is polar a little bit. Sometimes the IB's done that. I'm not really convinced about that. Soap, well, that isn't IB, but that, interestingly, that pulls non-polar molecules into the water, but that isn't IB. Dry cleaning, well, solvents for dry cleaning are non-polar, such as carbon dioxide, tetrachloroethene, or just hydrocarbons. Those non-polar chemicals will remove non-polar stains. And also, if you can't use water, for example, you can't wash things made of silk in water, it will ruin them. Those will need dry cleaning. And biological washing powder, that removes proteins such as eggs, alien blood, etc. And we're done.